Oh, <laughs> hey there. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> today I'm going to show you how to play Want Me uh, by Puma Blue. This song was requested by all these people. Thank you all so much for your comments. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to play the chords first, then I will explain some more difficult chords and also how to play some riffs. Yeah, I get quite a lot of questions from all of you which pedals I use and which amp. There's an Amazon link in the description that will show you which pedals and amps I use and all that, so definitely check that out if you'd like. I want to give a huge thank you to Sebastian for donating to my PayPal, thank you so much for your wonderful support in this way. Also feel free to suggest a new song, don't forget to subscribe first, and I hope to see you after I played the chords. So the song is just in standard tuning, but you do need to put a capo on the second fret over here. So all the tabs and chords are related to the capo by the way.
So that's how to play the chords as you could see. Um, yeah, there's some tricky ones in there. The timing of playing the chords of strumming pattern is quite freely. I don't think you should listen too much to the rhythm. You can play around a bit with the timing of the chords as Puma Blue does themselves. Which is very interesting, which gives it this slow and this chill vibe, I think. However, there are some chords that might need a bit more explaining. For example, the, the beginning chord, the most important one that you will hear a lot. Especially this is important. You do that by first playing the chord and then on the upstroke you put your middle finger on there like... That's really the most important part of that. It was also quite interesting. I talked with Puma Blue on Instagram and he told me that he, he like those chords and all that he mostly does it on feeling I think. He doesn't know that much music theory so that's very impressive just a side note. I think that's amazing if you can write songs like this without understanding music theory and still make such a jazzy vibe. That's brilliant. But Besides that, um, yeah, let's get back to the chords. The other part that might be a bit tricky is in the chorus this part. It's quite logical if you follow the tabs, except for this. You hammer on your pinky on the G string, like that, but a little bit later, so. Which might be a bit tricky but yeah just hammer on your pinky or you can also you can also play that note but it's nice as if you hammer it on then you go to the uh, f sharp minor nine which might be a bit of a tricky finger positioning you can also try it like this so using uh, your ring finger over here and putting your pinky on the E st and the B string. And if that's really too hard, you can also do it like this. So you miss out this note. Then in the second verse, you have this part. You, you do that by... So, first playing this F sharp minor 13, I think. And then releasing your pinky and index finger to just play the F sharp minor 7. So, so. yeah, just play it slowly and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Then the last thing I really wanted to explain a bit is at the very end, he does something like this. To do that you slide from the 2nd fret of the A string, then you play the, yeah, the E major 7, and then you do, to do that you basically, you, you, <laughs> it's quite difficult to explain, but you, you rest your fingers really all of them on the fretboard except for your pinky, so, and then you play this one with your index finger so so first you play the pinky and then you play the ninth fret on the or the seventh fret related to the capo so like that so you can also do it like this if it's too difficult It's nice to add these muted strings in there as well. Yeah, that's really everything I wanted to say about how to play these chords and notes. So that's how to play the song. I hope everything was clear. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.